right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being d depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. to the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Meatball Molly McCann. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Women's back and wing champion of the world, Holly the Preacher's daughter, Paul. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee ready. for this one. While she draws rave reviews for her work ethic, for her conditioning, you know about the boxing accolades for the international. <laughs> For her there. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the body, hooks to the head. She does a great job of mixing up the target, and now as the fight has progressed, expect her to try to really sit down with one in the fight. Have you seen anything like it? About a minute into the fight, these women are balling, they are brawling. Somebody's gonna go down. I mean, somebody has to go to sleep. This is impossible a pace to keep. Both fighters throwing heat now. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Gotta shore up the defense. Yeah, she's gotta move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Molly McCann. Nice shot there by the champ. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity for these two women at the beginning of the fight? Oh, big 
elbow. Oh, how good's that leg kick? Nice body shot there. Another hook lands there by Hull. Oh, is that a good right hand? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Home gets caught by that straight punch there. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Big shot to answer both guys. Back to the feet. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to... Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one to finish the fight. Big right hand. Oh! Yes. Huge shots going on right here. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Outstanding knee to the body by the taller fighter. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Leg kick lands. Oh, nice jab by Holly Hope. Straight right is there. Execution on that straight punch. She's got a reach advantage, and it was pretty obvious in that sequence there. Oh, and she lands yet another knee, and there was a whole lot behind that one. She came in as the taller, rangier fighter. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut. This is a great fight. All right, so now as the cut can... What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Her opponent for finishing her. Oh, she's got a good leg kick. There it is. You made the takedown now. 20 seconds left. Oh, big right hand, yes. She lands another head kick. How is her opponent still standing? Final seconds of the round. Oh, she is in real trouble. Oh! What a round. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right. Ahead. Round two. Nice right hand. Very nice leg kick there by Meatball Molly. Oh. Oh, great block there. That uppercut is good. What a beautiful body kick. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish the earlier round. Keeps her fire there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. I don't see this 
type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of activity out there, trying to end her opponent's night. Well, home swelling now around her jaw, so we'll keep an eye on that storyline as this fight continues, but she has absorbed a lot of strikes. What a fight. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Meatball Molly McCann. All right, so she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate.